A matrix could have any real number as an eigenvalue. Indeed, we'll later see that matrices can have complex numbers as eigenvalues. But one number in particular gives you some important information about the matrix theorem. A has zero as an eigenvalue if and only if A is singular, which in case we don't remember, means that A has no inverse. And the proof of this is like three or four lines using the invertible matrix theorem and the definition of an eigenvalue. Lambda equals zero is an eigenvalue if and only if the equation AX equals zero times X has non-trivial solutions. Well, zero times X is zero and AX equals zero has non-trivial solutions. If and only if A is not invertible. This via the invertible matrix theorem. Of course, the invertible matrix theorem phrased this a little differently. The invertible matrix theorem said that A is invertible if and only if this has no non-trivial solutions. So that's logically equivalent to saying that A is not invertible if and only if this does have non-trivial solutions.